We're in the Azores. There's so much water. There's Salvo. <laughs> okay, you're good. This is an island chain in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, owned by Portugal. They speak Portuguese here. It's beautiful, it's super green, super lush. You know, we landed at 6.30 a.m., hopped in a van, drove out to this river, and we're gonna go for it. It's starting to rain on us, but hopefully we can catch some trout. Truchas. I, I think that's in Spanish. I don't know what it is in Portuguese, though. Uh, we should learn. Yeah, we'll have to learn that. Came out to test these new rods. See how they perform in this these kind of conditions. I don't know if the fishing's just slow or if it's us. We're all just feeling a little bit jet lag and we've been fishing for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Haven't seen a fish, haven't caught a fish. It's raining, we're tired, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep hiking up this river until we get one. It's coming down. We haven't caught any fish yet, we haven't seen any fish, but we're still optimistic. But you know, fishing is just all, got a lot of those highs and lows. So we're just kind of like, Getting through one of the lows right now, looking for the next high, which will be the first trout that we catch. Hopefully we can get it done today. Sometimes just aren't cut out for life on the road. That's what happens when you take a red eye flight and then you just start fishing. You crash in the middle of the day when it's raining. Power nap. Power nap. I'm ready. The rain stops. Not a good sign. Yeah. I'm gonna we still do. got a couple hours of daylight. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah we're good. This is river number two of the day. Only got, well, maybe an hour to fish. Taking a little snack break. Got myself a little, some type of a pig in a blanket oh. wrapped in bacon. What you got? I don't know. It looks like a little pizza thing, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Good though. Standing on top of a small waterfall right now. We found some fish in this little creek, but they're up a little bit higher. There's kind of like a little dam up here, and they're up above that. We're gonna go see if we can find it or go catch them. We worked hard for this fish. This is the fish of a thousand casts right here. Pretty decent, maybe four or five inches. Don't know centimeters too low, this is probably what? Ten? It's a real beaut. That one. Yeah, that's the smallest so far. Come on, 
even eat it and I just totally missed him and then uh, threw it back in there a second time and got him. some of the pressure because those are the first fish we caught. So there's not a ton of information online for fishing in the Azores and we kind of have just been going off of what tiny information there is, doing our own research, looking at maps. Not a ton of luck. We fished four rivers so far out of like the 10 that we know of. We didn't find any fish yesterday. I didn't see a single fish. Yeah. So it was good to catch some today. Yeah, it's just hard to find some good, like accurate information on this place. So we've just been driving around looking for different spots. That kind of makes it fun though. We're just kind of like doing our detective work, you know, hitting all these different spots, looking at maps, driving up in the mountains, turning around, flying the drone, looking for pieces. And yeah, it's a little more rewarding. Yeah. So if you see us holding up, you know a three inch which would probably be in the 12 centimeter range so we're hitting double digits <laughs> if you see us holding up like a three inch fish and we're very very excited for it it's because we've been you know we've had to work for these fish you can't find them everywhere here yeah <laughs> 